Hello everyone. I know I've been away for a bit, but I am back. I had some some things come up that took me away for a bit and an internet issue, so I hadn't been able to really respond to comments or anything. But this video is going to be addressing those questions. So I thought instead of going through and responding to everywhere, there was enough uh, repeat questions that I'd just go through and address them in a video form. So one of the recurring questions is how to get assets from open game art to unreal engine okay so let's go oh Oop. all right so when you find something you want to download from open game art get out of here then you download it if it's pictures it needs to be in png form or you can open it in a editor and save it as a PNG but then you just go to wherever you had it saved so for mine goes to the download folder but then I just brought it right here on the desktop so just to get it in to your content browser just find where you want to store it for now I'm just gonna store it right here and there's two ways you can either do it like this and just drag and drop just like that and it brings it right in so see now all those textures are in or you can do it like if uh, delete that I can import it this way so I just go to the desktop I find what was it called flare or something or other flare armor and then you just open it like that same thing so that's two ways you can do that now the second question was about oh so there's an issue with our quest system that I am currently in the process of figuring out uh, so if I accept the kill quest and then the collect quest and then go back and try to turn in the kill quest it lets me even though I haven't done anything on it I'm still in the process of working on that I'm just letting you know there is a little bit of an issue with that I will be trying to figure that out uh, not quite sure what's happening there but I'll I'll dive deeper into that one and figure it out uh, but I just wanted to draw it to your attention there is an issue there Okay, another one is that character freezes during animation. So, for instance, if they're firing the bow or or doing stuff like this, then their character freezes sometimes. What that is... Whoa, camera. So, we need to go into the player blueprint and where we're... Oh, God, it's a mess in here. Okay, we'll fix that where we're refreshing and resetting the can attack boolean you might just need to increase that delay before you go back to the letting your player attack or cast or whatever you're doing there so just I found 0.25 works pretty well on mine but you might need to do 0.3 it might vary depending on processors or if yours has a little bit of lag it might take a little bit I'm not quite sure uh, the other issue that might be popping up is if we go find our animation blueprint then you want to go through all the animations that you want to fire once so for instance I want this to only play one time you want to highlight your animation and make sure that loop animation is turned to false because otherwise it will just loop back through so all the attack animations don't need to be looping uh, only loop the only animations that would be looping are things like your walk and run and your jump so like the range combat you would want that falling animation to be looping and then the blend space loops automatically so that addresses the freezing during animations access none sword and shield ref okay so if you're getting an issue to where you're trying to destroy your equipment and it says every time you exit it says access none trying to destroy sword and shield reference that means you just need to add these is valid checks so what this does is it checks to make sure that this is an actual thing in the game and if it is then you want to destroy it if not then you want to skip over that so you just ignore this basically so it'll check is this an active variable if it is destroys if not that means this has not been associated with anything yet we don't need to do anything so if you're getting a bunch of those then you want to just add these is valid checks throughout 
uh, anywhere that you have your sword, shield, or bow reference. You always want to make sure that they're valid before you try to do anything with them. Player pending kill. Oh, and likewise, uh, if you're getting a error that says, you know, access none trying to get the player because the player is pending kill, then you want to make sure that these blue lines are hooked up and none of your destroy actors are set to self. Otherwise, this will destroy the player blueprint and uh, could cause some issues. So we never want to destroy the player character. We only want to destroy the equipment. So like if we change shield... Or, no, if we spawn gear. Now, basically, on the destroy gear, I guess. So, yeah, just make sure that these is valid. Destroy actor. Make sure these are all hooked up to where they need to be. Anywhere that you're using a destroy actor, make sure that you're destroying the right actor. So, I don't, I don't know if there's other places that are destroying. Um, but anywhere that you're using those, you want to make sure it's hooked to what you're trying to destroy. Otherwise, it'll try to destroy the player. Okay, animation blend space issues. Ah, righty, righty. Uh, what is that? Okay, so another issue people are having is if they try to draw the sword and they go into their um, armed blend spaces, it's moving forward and backward right, but not going side to side. So you want to make sure that you have your blend spaces set up just like this. For the armed locomotion and the ranged locomotion, you don't want the blend space 1D. The blend space 1D is just the one directional plane that is good for forward and backward. The reason we're using it here is because the character rotates to match the direction she's running. You don't want those for the armed because otherwise she'll just run forward and backwards. Uh, but you want these left and right animations also so you want to be able to you you want the blend space that has the multiple directions and if it's uh still she's like only running forward and backward and uh turning then you want to make sure anywhere you're trying to switch to that blend space that you're setting that the orient rotation to movement is false what this does is when your character runs, the mesh inside this capsule will rotate to match the direction you're going, or this capsule will rotate with the character and everything, and it'll, uh, you'll only be able to do the forward and backward because it's not picking up on the direction because the direction is changing. So, event graph, event graph, there. So you want to make sure that orient rotation and movement is false and that use controller desired rotation is true. The use controller desired rotation is um, when you move the mouse or if you're using a gamepad, the right thumbstick to move the camera, then it'll make your character face that direction also. So if I jump in here and we grab my bow. So right now she's set orient rotation to movement and the controller desired rotation is false. So I can move the camera around her, but it does nothing to affect the actual mesh. But if I draw the bow, then you'll see wherever I move the mouse, that's using the controller desired rotation. And now she faces the direction I'm pointing no matter what, because she doesn't orient rotation to movement. So you just want to make sure that you're swapping back and forth between those as you you know, go in and out of your combat states or your magic states or whatever your your melee attack, etc., etc. Not melee attack, melee system. Yeah. So those were the recurring issues. Uh, I will continue to work and figure out what's going on with the quest system because I don't know why it would be doing that. It shouldn't. But. I will try to figure out what's going on there, and in the next one, we will continue on with the level designing, getting ready to go on our quest, set up the landscape and the foliage and all that jazz, so it's going to be fun, and I will see you all there. Bye-bye.